Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, I want to talk about Shensia celebrating five years or a little over five years in the business and also clarifying that she's not for everyone. You understand? Because of course, they you know Shensia name been calling up with a lot of rumors saying that she there with that the person there and that the person there. So we have that to talk about. And also I want to talk about Spice doing an interview with Sean Paul wife. I may tell you that Spice are going with one bag of things tonight. You understand? Also talked about her song, Black Hypocrisy. So you know, remember that song yeah man she said that might be one of her most underrated song and that song it was a very powerful song you understand because it caused a lot of controversy when it came to spice and thing and thing you understand people so the first thing we're going to talk about is shensia making it clear that she is not for everybody you understand and basically shensia posted up a nice little picture on her instagram page and this is what she said i am from the streets but not for the streets. So of course you know say so when well the new slang nowadays when a man or somebody say that girl is for the streets, that means she is for everybody. You understand? That means that she will basically have sex with any single man. So Shensia is making it clear that she is from the streets, but she is not for the streets. And I think she's just making it clear that she is not for everybody. You understand? Now obviously Shensia love life has been a mystery to a lot of persons. Some people try to figure out who she did with, and of course say no say one of the persons name who call up the most is none other than her manager Ramesh some people feel like say them there some people feel like say they are more than friends you understand me say people now to be honest we never really see anything like out in the public then we kind of confirm to them in our relationship now i remember one time we did see a little video footage where it did kind of look like them kiss people to be honest but i don't want to say that was it maybe even panaja he might kiss her which nothing wrong with that because the two of them close and after all we know say ramesh have love and respect for her. you understand me say people now shensia also made another post celebrating a little bit over five years in the music business you understand now this post was made two days ago you understand me as a people and basically she was celebrating the song named jiggle jiggle when you remember that song that was shensia's first song where she actually released and thing now she kind of reminisced from where she coming from oh she did also have one pair of slippers basically and she did a wear the slippers over and over she did a glue it up every time it did a fall apart you know them poor life there when you not have money if you can actually buy like a whole heap of shoes and all them type of thing there now basically she posts up that picture that you're seeing on the screen and she said today was the release of my very first song i officially recorded jiggle jiggle five years ago i finished writing this song 5 a.m in the morning while my baby slept i love this picture because this was the day i served some of the top dancer artists and businessmen brought out all their bottles food etc I then heard my song at the party and no one knew it was me except my team and the DJ. I posted this picture five years ago and I got ridiculed for my slippers. Seeing as some of my followers saw it many times because I didn't have much, I glued it over and over every time it fell apart. I am proud of myself and I am most grateful to God for carrying me thus far. I am about to start a new journey and I doubt not in what he will continue to do when I started it. It was just few. Now my Shen Yangs and I are going to take over the world. So of course Shensia is very confident because people, why shouldn't she be? She came from humble beginnings to where she actually can buy anything she want right about now. Well, maybe not anything because of course they you know say there no matter how much money you have, there are some things out there where maybe you don't have the money can buy anything. I understand, but she's in a comfortable space right about now. She can take care of her son, and of course, from you can take care of your son, your family. That that are one of the best thing you want. You understand what I say? And what I respect about this post is that you actually give praises to God in it. You understand? Because remember, you know, people, you cannot do anything without the Almighty. And everything that you do, as long as it's positive, as long as it's good, make sure you put Father God in it. That's the only thing I'm going to say. You understand, people? So, yeah, that is what Shensia have to say. And also, Shensia is dropping her album very soon. So, the Shen Yangs, them, when you can look out for that, when you can look out for some new songs and all of that. You understand? 
please go out there and support the artists them if you can when them release them album because of course them put it out there for the fans them and of course that's how they make money well they make money off of um, singles and them thing there as well but you don't know say some artists have a lot of followers and them don't really get support when them put out albums and thing and I think Shensia you know she will actually get the support from the fans them and thing and thing you understand but yeah people let me know what you guys think about this and let me know if you is a real Shenyan fan and also if you are going to buy a copy of her album when she release it you understand so the next thing we're going to talk about is Dancehall Queen Spice talking to Sean Paul wife Jody Jinx, you understand people? And basically it's like a little interview on Instagram. Spice was talking about um, one of her most underrated songs, Black Hypocrisy. And I'm not sure why that song is so underrated because it was definitely a good song. It's a song where a lot of us can relate to it, you understand? Being criticized by your own, um, where to say, your own black people them, you understand? And the reason why Spice even put out that song, if someone wanna remember, is because a lot of persons that talk about how she black and all them thing there and remember you know are you see them jamaican people are you see them black people them at about your complexion and thing it's not even like a case where a white person has said that zin people so that is why she said black hypocrisy and i think that was a very good song the video and the concept was very good as well no spice it faced a lot of bashing because of course you know so she did pretend like she bleached out her skin zin people a lot of persons did fall feet. I'm not telling a lie. I don't know if me did fall feet because I can't really remember. But I know some people they get tricked by it. You understand what I say, people? Now, anyway, this interview was a very good one. So you don't know, I suggest you watch out all of it. Listen to the Queen of Dancehall officer. And let me know if you like this interview. You understand, people? And Spice is also dropping her album this month, the 30th of July. So all of the Spice fans, them, get ready for buy the album. You understand? And like me say with Shensia, I'm going to say the same thing with spice go out there support the artist them if you can if you don't have the money can buy it, then you just don't have the money you understand but sometimes you know put some money in the artist them pocket and thing people although some people have it for say yo no for them artists are rich already we now make them rich and are richer i should i say is it but you don't know if you like the artist if you like our music or him music Go out there and support them. It's all massive people. But yeah, let's get into the interview. I'm going to leave you with that. And don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. People, make sure you check for make sure the notification bell is on. You understand? Make sure it's on all. That way you get notified when I drop a new video. Is it? Anyway, people, that's it. Bless upon yourself and keep safe. I'm out. It. You have been a, you have been such a great supporter to my company for the past months. Every time I look, I can see a customer, Jody, ordered by Jody, and I really appreciate it. Oh, it's good quality, you know. It is yes. real good, real, real, real good. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so as I was saying earlier, your album comes out on July thirtieth, and the album is called Ten. So today we want to do ten questions with Spice. So okay. first of all, I have to ask you, are there 10 tracks on the album? Why did you call the album 10? I wanted 10 tracks, but they wanted more. It was difficult to pick the songs, but I called it 10 to mark the, the, the number of years that my fans have been waiting for this album. So a lot of people don't know or didn't even realize because I've been putting out so many hits throughout the years. They don't realize that I've never put out an album. So I've signed to VP Records for 10 years now, and this is the first... I'm sorry, I was getting a call. Tell me to stop calling him. <laughs> so you signed to DP Records and this is your first album. This is my first album. So within 10 years, um, I've signed to them. This is the first album we're putting out together. So I just wanted to remember the mark of 10 years because I've done so much right. throughout the 10 years. You think you really put a fire under their tail the other day? Because I, I saw you got into a little tiff about, um, you know, VP records. You think that put a fire under their tail? 
I mean, it did. I'm a fan put a fire under them tails because when I posted what was happening to me, because I've been silent about it for a number of years. But when I came out and was say, I was like, no, my tell the fans are asked, when the album, when the album. I just openly put out what was happening and my fans also put fire under them tail. But thanks to Shaggy, he was the one who kind of mended the relationship. And he's also okay. the executive producer for the album. So that's all the big song come together. Mm, go down there, go down, go down there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I really like that song. <laughs> okay, so what made you choose your signature blue hair color over any other hair color? Jody, me and you know, say I'm the only human alive that was born in blue hair. Yes. Oh, true, true, Everybody true. know that, 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 that that's recorded. Like I was the only baby that was born on August the 6th with blue hair. So that leads to another question now. Anywhere else have blue hair? Little bit down there. <laughs> Little bit down <laughs> Little bit, bit down there. In between, you know, right, the fluffy right. parts. All right. <laughs> Which one of your songs do you think is the most underrated? The most underrated? Whoa, that's a hard one. Um, underrated. Nobody never asked me that yet, Jody. Where you get them questions? Yeah. No, I, I don't think, think you understand. You know, I sat down, you know, and I said, I don't want to ask the regular questions. I don't want the fans to log on and just be hearing the same thing over and over and over again. So I really put a little thought into this. Underrated, I could say. Um, maybe black hypocrisy could have done better on a global scale. Right, right. Um, I feel like even though I felt like the message was so globally received, the song itself could have done, you know, bigger. Do you think it's because it was such a controversial topic that people kind of shied yes, away? Yes, and that's, what I, that's also what I wanted to say. It was such a... That, that topic has been swept under the rug for so many years. So for me to come out boldly and talk about a topic that, you know, a lot of people shy away from, that's also right. something, you know, that kind of contributed to that so i would say that okay now other than your phone what must have item do you walk with daily can't leave home without you'll turn back and get it the charger <laughs> <laughs> the charger for the phone because you can't live without the phone in the boy you see the charger is very important <laughs> true, the phone true, can't true. work without the charger <laughs> okay you are undisputedly the queen of the dance hall yeah, girl. Yeah, Thank girl. you. Thank you. <laughs> no, you've come a long way. You've, you know, no fights, you know, no tribulations, no ray, 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 ray. Do you ever look at anybody now and send message for them to be like, yeah, what now, bitch? I'm on top. Wally for them. I <laughs> feel like we couldn't make it. What wally for them? <laughs> um, to be honest, I cost people in them DM. Yeah. So enough time I see like a cussing I go around with spice going at the day I'm gonna cuss them, it's really me. Because I've grown so much, but there's people out there who feel like you couldn't make it and you couldn't reach this far, you couldn't do this. So sometimes I see them comment instead of to answer them on the feed where everybody I go see, but just going at them DM and say, bitch, let me tell you this. <laughs> Member say I'm just read it, give them right this song. So I do okay. cuss a lot of people in their DM. Okay, Tracy, what's your last question? I can't really talk Oh, about. okay. <laughs> So Spice, I'm Jody's sister, I'm Tricky. Hi. Hi Jody's sister. I want to feel like twin body now. I want to look alike. <laughs> um, so you're such a busy lady, Spice. You have your makeup line, you have your makeup brushes, you have your track suit and your clothing line, Grassy Noir. I mean, you're really doing it up. You have your charity foundation. Um, you, you just have so much going on for you. Thank when you. do you find time to relax and what do you do to relax? Like, what is your ultimate relaxation mode? Your mom as well, and that's a full-time job. So you have so much going on. You know, I started crying the other day, like real tears because of how tired I was. I don't relax. Yeah. I never, I don't, I hardly relax. So, you know, even when I, I'm not physically, like I don't have something to do, I find something to do. So even mm. if I'm in the bed, even for a minute, I'm working, I'm researching, I'm reading up on something. Like, yeah. I'm always, you know, working. So I'm never that relaxed person. And I tell people all the time, my past has a lot to do with 
how I work. Because, you know, I'm in, a re I'm in a relationship right now. And sometimes, like, he would say, Lord, Jesus, I'm put on the phone. But it's like, me just so eager to just keep rising and keep, you know, going up. I just, I'm just addicted to working. I am, I'm addicted. So I don't normally relax. I'm always on the go, always doing something, always thinking of something, always creating an idea, always trying to add to whether grass and noir, faces and laces, the spice, the artist, or thinking about the kids. There's so many different elements to my life that I always have to delegate time to. You have so such a great work, work ethic that I think that really does contribute to you being so successful as well. Thank you. Okay, so hold on now. So I see that Kim Kardashian, she did the tracksuit line for the American Olympic team. Spice, why you say, Jamaica? I need to, I need to do, I need to yeah. do that. Right? <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> That's a good okay. one, but definitely. So I'm looking forward to this segment of the show. Pretend that I am a blind white woman with no arm, with no with rhythm. Right? Because we're also filming for my YouTube. So you can't show me. You have to describe to me. How do I go down there? I, uh, all right. So you are what? blind? Yes. So I can't look up at you and see what you're telling me to do. Okay. All right. So go on your knees. Black side. <laughs> Open your hand like a C. Make a C with one of your hands. And put bow your head as if you're saying yes. My money is spent. My money. Is spent. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm just saying that, that, that was a chance. I didn't see the sound. Any of the other go down there. Why am I getting the special version? Spice no, you didn't get a real one. drops on july the 30th so i'm telling everybody don't just go on youtube buy the album support really? me the real way and then my right. birthday is on august 6th so i want to wake up on the 6th of august and celebrate a great success of my album Aww. so support the album the real way i love you guys thank you so much bye <laughs>